your hardships, your challenges, your situation will either be the reason you don't make it or it will be the story you tell when you do make it. I was homeless from 30 to 33. I lived in a 1976 temple. I lived in a car for three years. Tell yourself the truth. If someone calls you fat, they may be bullying you, but you might be fat. Someone calls you dumb, it's mean, but you might be dumb. It's life, man. Take it for what it's worth and change it. And that terrible feeling when someone does tell you they are fat, you can use that as fuel. As fuel, period. Every single good thing that happens in our lives, everything, comes at a cost. There is nothing for free. Everything we struggle with has opportunity and lesson that goes with it. It's always balanced, right? And so whenever anybody tells me this great thing, I'm always like, yeah, but at what cost? And was the cost worth it? Sometimes the answer is yes, and sometimes the answer is no. And when something horrible happens in someone's life or something goes sideways, I always ask, but what did you learn? The whole the golden circle and the concept of why came out of me losing my passion and hating work. I, I went through depression. I never want to go through that again, but I'm really glad it happened. Because it, look what it's, it's given me an entirely new life view. Don't be afraid to reinvent yourself and don't be afraid to be different, man. You ain't got to fit in the crowd. I tell my sons all the time, why are you following everybody when you were clearly meant to lead? Mm -hmm. It's always better to just do your thing. Mm -hmm. And you, and I don't care what situation you done got your life in, you can turn your life around because it ain't ever too late. See, you're looking at a cat. Look, man, I didn't get into comedy till I was 27. I was homeless from 30 to 33. I lived in a 1976 tempo. I lived in a car for three years, man. And so people see me today, they don't know, you know, man, where I come from. And I tell young cats all the time, man, the key is you can't ever give up rock bottom bottom isn't when you experience the worst moment in your life Definitely. bottom is when you change it's when you actually it's when, when you touch it when you smell it when it's right on your face feel it and, and there's it's not about severity of what the thing no, is it's not it's about what you do with it once it happens but what's going on in your life is not permanent everything is going to change so there's two things you can do with change you can react to it or you can participate in it it's going to change anyway so if you keep waiting around, you're going to have to react to the change. And now you, you're behind. But if you participate in the change, you got to start anticipating that it's going to change and just start living your life with the preparation for change. But if you want to be the best, you watch the best. You look at the best. You know, you watch them and you have their lifestyle. Don't be like this, have their lifestyle. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard. Those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. Um, that is actually the dream. That's the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. Will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. And so if you're ready to quit, then don't get started. If you're ready to quit, don't get started. If you're looking for this easy path, don't get started. If you think they're not going to close the door on you and say no a million times, don't get started. But every time they close the door, I just get excited. Why? Because I am not a no. I'm one yes away.